I told the son to turn up, I said, okay, bet. Okay, RIP my grandma, she said, one day you up next. The boss up in flat, had to bounce back. Alright, yo, what's up? Um, today we're basically going to be looking at the sort of night vision effect. I've seen this in music videos, I've seen this in a lot of vlogs that I've been watching recently. But more time, like, you can get a camcorder and usually this, like, this type of effect, it's, it's like, built in to some camcorders. But, like, if you're like me and you have, like, a, a normal, like, DSLR or, like, a mirrorless camera, there's not really, I don't think there's many, like, settings in, like, modern, more modern, like, mirrorless cameras. So, this is, like, if you don't have a camcorder and you want to learn the effect. So, yeah, let's jump straight into it. Alright, so you're going to want to start with a clip in your timeline that you're trying to use and just drag it into your timeline. Um, then you just want to lengthen it out to however long uh, you want the effect to go on for. Usually you're going to want it to be a sort of like a darker clip. Um, that's when the, the night vision effect works best. You're going to want to drag the green background onto it, um, on top of it, and just delete any unnecessary audio and just make sure it's all like, um, it's all the same length. Um, change the green background to the color type of composite mode or blender mode just play around with whatever program you're using and whichever blend mode works best i played around i tried changing the opacity to make it look more realistic you're gonna want it to look green but not too green um if it looks too green it's gonna look kind of sickly you really don't want it to come across as sickly you just want the effect to be more subtle don't put in too much green otherwise it's not gonna be as subtle as like you want it to be this already looks good but like we're gonna want to go into the color tab and or the color grading tab and just change around the clip so basically with the white in the image and the bright areas you're going to want to uh, peak the gain which is basically increase the white areas or the bright the brightest areas you're going to want to increase uh, the brightest areas and it's already is looking like way more like realistic um yeah and you're going to want to create like a new layer and then mess around with the gamma or the midtones. Yeah, you're just going to want to make it as realistic as possible, whether that's dragging them down or dragging them up. Um, I think here I was dragging them up. I think, yeah, I was dragging them up here. Um, and it basically just brightens the image. Um, and then in the lift or the um, dark areas, you're going to want to make them a bit darker. You don't want to make them too light, like as shown here, because it's going to look a bit as sickly as like before. And you, you kind of want it to be more subtle. Um, so yeah, you're gonna want to put the dark areas darker. And as you can see, it's already looking really good right now. You wanna go, you're gonna want to go into the curves and then add a little fade. Um, it's looking kind of bright, so you're gonna want to um, not drag it up too much. Then you're gonna want to um, brighten the middle of it a bit, you know, so we get this sort of effect. And as you can see from the before and after, it's already looking pretty good. And that's basically us done. Um, you can add like extra stuff, you can add like grain, you can add different sizing. Um, you can use this in like uh, music videos or anything, but it's usually best um, with like um, with darker footage. So if you're shooting at night or something, and if you've already got really grainy footage, if your footage is just like grainy for no reason, and you you know you want a type of effect to sort of save you, um, then yeah, you can use this effect. It's so clutch. If you don't have a camcorder like me, then you have a DSLR or a mirrorless, then this is like a, a really cool way to do it.